Personal story segment time. Big time liberal commentator, host of The Daily Show on Comedy Central, John Stewart. As you may know, he has yeah, a new movie yeah, out yeah. called Rose Water, which we will discuss. But first, mm -hmm. what the heck happened last week? Here's Stewart. What happened last week, Stewart? Before we get started, I have to take issue with something you said early in the program. Yeah. Uh, you said that uh, you are better looking now than you were three years ago. Yeah. I, I can assure you that that is not the case. Is that, yeah, that coming from a man you who are, doesn't shave in the morning? Let me tell you something. I honestly, I walked in here. They said, you're doing a rally. I go, are, are you sure I'm not at the Crypt Keeper's house? Uh-huh. Because I was... You're looking you, a little tired, though, Stuart. I'm exhausted. You know? Yeah, you look I'm exhausted, like by the way. Okay. You actually look quite nice. Uh, I, I look pretty good. Pretty damn good. So what happened last week? We talked. Yeah, about? what happened last week? You're talking about the Democrats. Democrats no, I'm talking Republicans. about the election. Did you the vote, election. by the way? I voted, okay. by the way. And you that voted was, for Cuomo, I bet. I voted for, yeah, probably Cuomo. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're not quite sure? You just go uh, right across the Democratic right line, the Democratic right? Democratic line. <laughs> I actually write in Che Guevara uh -huh. on this line and then just hope that maybe, <laughs> right. it could, maybe sure. other people will be thinking along that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. He's dead. You uh, know that? What? Yeah. Oh, my God. What am I going to do with all those T-shirts now? Okay. I got all those T-shirts. <laughs> right. Well, it's like Bob Marley. You can still wear them. Uh, I understand. Okay. You go home, you put on your Father Coughlin sweatshirt. I put on my Che Guevara T-shirt, and we, uh, we meet at the diner. Right. That's how it goes. All right. So uh, the Democrats got their butts kicked. And why? It was, it was uh, Ali Frazier. It was Ali Frazier. No, if, Ali Frazier was close. This wasn't close. No, no, no. This, Frazier, this was, uh, you, you misunderstand. This Frazier, was Liston not, Floyd Patterson. No, 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 no. I don't mean Joe Frazier. I mean Kelsey Grammer as Frazier. I mean Muhammad Ali. I'm trying to weasel out of that. Against you know, Kelsey that wasn't Grammer. Work. I was doing a joke setup. You stepped all over it. Because it wasn't funny. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Now, why did they get their butts kicked? I really feel like this is early Thanksgiving for uh -huh. me. This is, I'm, I'm preparing now. Okay. Why did they get their butts yes. kicked? Yes. Because they curled up in a little ball. And, and tried to make sure that nobody hit them too hard. I have no idea what they even ran on. They had, the Democrats? Right. They what ran they on. Always run on. Here was they ran on. We don't like Obama either. I don't know. I don't know who voted for him. We, we've got nothing to do with the guy. And why they, did they do that? Because they're frightened. Of? Not having principle. No, they're frightened of his low poll numbers because most Americans don't oh, think he's no. doing a good job. His poll numbers are so much higher than the congressional poll numbers. He, he's at 40 percent, but the Congress is at what, 9 percent? That's like saying... Um, Head lice that's does like, better than Congress. You know, that's like saying Sierra Leone's better than the Congo. I mean, come on. They're all in bad trouble, and the president is the leader. <laughs> well, okay? Oh, all okay. Right. All right. You know why the Democrats lost? Is I don't believe he's the leader of the Democratic Party. I honestly you believe... No. You know he's president, though, Barack Obama. I believe he has, he has a, a bit of distinction for the Democrats, I believe they have a bit of disdain for him. I don't think I'm there's... Not it's that. not like the Clinton machine no. that truly was... That's true. Uh, he's an outsider. Of, that he's is not correct. an insider. I, I, don't, I don't believe that there's a conflict. Here's why, here's why the Democrats lost. Because yeah. the callow youth that watches your program yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't show up. Well, then why did you ask me if you knew? You could have, we could have short-circuited the whole conversation. No, no, no. You no. could have just said, here's why, it's my, rather than make me say something. It's my job. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. To make you look good. And I thought mistakenly, <laughs> mistakenly what? that you might have some actual. Uh, so you believe good opinion in on your this. twisted, addled mind that you would ask me that question. And I would say it's the I, callow youth that watch my show are the problem. Yeah, they didn't show All up. Right. All right. They didn't show up. But you know why? Because marijuana is now legal in so many states. <laughs> All right, that they can't leave the house. There's no incentive for them to go anywhere anymore. That's why they lost. No. All right, immigration, executive order, you're for that, right? You I don't know if I'm for it necessarily. Uh, I do believe, though, you know, in terms of this idea that he's a tyrant, he'll go, you know, we have a system in place. If he oversteps the authority of his office through an executive order, then that will be addressed through the proper proceedings. That being said, the fundamental problem solving mechanism of our government is utterly broken. And we can all blame it on the president, but let's face facts. When he came into office, at, when he was at his inauguration, the Republicans met in a restaurant and said, we will deny this man any bipartisan agreement. We will undercut anything that he offers to the detriment of the country, but the short-term gain of our party. And that is how they've operated what over the was past that? six where years. They, where they it was, I believe it was a steakhouse. Was let's it say steakhouse? it was a steakhouse. Okay. Let's call it a sizzler. Okay. Let's say they met at a sizzler. But you are aware. Up at by the salad bar. Okay. But you and your 17 riders are aware that yes. in the first two years, yes. the Congress was controlled by the Democrats yes. with a Democratic president. That no he no question. Passed. Well, they, he could have passed it. If well, he they, they, they worked forward through that, that health care option that he set they an agenda. They couldn't do both? They could, couldn't do two things? Have you seen them work? It's been six years okay. since they've done anything. But, uh, but I'm what have they done in the last two years? Really, they've done nothing. He didn't really do anything two years when he had a chance to do it. Oh, I, I, I believe that that's... If you go back and you look, there was a large legislative agenda. The problem was 
within the Senate, you have these supermajority rules and you can't get anything through and the Republicans have filibustered. Now, that's not in any way exonerating the Democrats for behavior. But let's, if we're going to have the conversation, right. let's lay the facts out there. Well, the Republicans look, have had it so good you know because my, here's what they say. We don't put our fingerprints on anything. We don't do anything. We no, don't own anything. And we allow ourselves to win by attrition. Okay. There's no doubt the Republicans are not looked upon favorably by the voters. But I will tell you. And have one, done nothing. I will tell you one thing. Yeah, because you know why? You know, because the callow Republican pot smoking. Oh, no, wait, that's, no, that's my view. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, he, he, I went to a different thing. Here's I, went, why. I went to a different thing. Here's why. Steve. Yes, yes. Okay, here's why. Yes. You basically cannot allow yeah. President Obama uh -huh. to keep people in this country who are undocumented. You can't allow them unless we know if any of them watch your program. Okay? Because if any of them do, mm -hmm. they must be deported immediately. All I right? understand. So that's all I'm asking. No, Steve. I understand. All right. Now we're going to hold him over. All right. All right. We're going to try to get the debris off his jacket. Uh, Is there debris on my jacket? About his new movie, Rosewater. About?